In GKE, application owners can define the minimum and maximum amount of CPU and memory that their workloads require. This is done in the form of per container requests and limits in a Kubernetes pod. This process isn't perfect though. Workload requirements may need to change over time for many reasons, from incoming demand on the applications to improper initial configuration. App right sizing is the practice of fine tuning workload requests over time to ensure that their requests accurately reflect what the workloads will utilize. In order to make GKE cost optimization a discipline, it's important to provide a monitoring system that can help teams practice app right sizing. Previously, we discussed how it is important to monitor cluster bin packing or how efficiently resources are distributed at a cluster and node pool level. Signals of poor utilization at these aggregated levels can be indicative of applications being over or under provisioned. Monitoring at the application level can empower application owners to have the right data to right size their apps and put GKE cost optimization into practice. To monitor this effectively, we want to ensure that clusters utilize namespaces in a logical fashion. For many reasons, we do not want to have a single namespace running all pods. These include overly permissive role-based access control, inability to set quotas per team, the list goes on. But from a monitoring perspective, we want to be able to utilize namespaces to understand app right sizing patterns across groups of applications. A common example of how this could be useful would be for namespaces to be aligned to each team. This easily allows us to then chart and monitor how each team is doing. For example, when a team is consistently over-provisioned on a specific resource across multiple apps, we can make that information available to them. This builds a culture around empowering teams to right-size their apps. The way we can detect how well they're doing is by utilizing platform-specific recommendations. For example, the vertical pod autoscaler. This means that we'll get recommended values for CPU and memory requests, which we can chart against the actual resources that pods are requesting in that given namespace. Once we have a team to work with on right-sizing apps, we can then dig into monitoring for their over-provisioned apps. The data we've already collected for the aggregate namespace view will be utilized here as well, this time on a per-workload basis. Here, we can see that the front-end and back-end workloads for Team A are well over-provisioned. So what can we do now? We can start with auto-generated recommendations from Vertical Pod Autoscaler. This may give us quick, easy guidance to right-size over-provisioned apps by reducing CPU and memory requests. We should also create per-application dashboards where we graph out data including what resources the pods are utilizing what the sum of requests and limits for those pods are, and how their utilization compares to their target utilization defined by a horizontal pod autoscaler. Note that in this example, we have the horizontal pod autoscaler's target utilization for a set of pods well above actual utilization. This introduces an opportunity for cost optimization by app right sizing. When we have average utilization well below the target utilization defined in the horizontal pod autoscaler, we can consider lowering the number of minimum replicas. By reducing this count, we get to reduce the cost of running this application, all while maintaining flexibility to still scale up to handle varying load. While we have mainly focused on cost optimization with the goal of reducing cluster costs, it's a good time to remind ourselves that cost optimization and practicing FinOps is the discipline of balancing cost with other critical areas. With this same data, we can also monitor for under-provisioned apps as well, which are opportunities for right-sizing apps for the sake of performance and stability. Over time, you'll find that cluster bin packing and app right-sizing are intertwined exercises due to events such as the onboarding of entirely new apps into a cluster. Configuring a monitoring system around the topics discussed here can be complex, so be sure to check out the guide we published on how to set one up. With a system set up for cluster bin packing and app right sizing, you can ensure that your team will be able to continuously practice cost optimization for your GKE clusters.